Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Into the Breach. So far, so great. Just make sure we're not wasting any power. Not wasting any power, good stuff. I don't love Firefly Lord, and I hate the Blast Scion. Health Scion, but I hate the Centipedes. Ah, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try Pinnacle Robotics. It's already, there's ice on the level to begin with, so maybe we can have like some cross ice synergy. We don't really want power at this point, although I assume if we get like protect the emergency batteries done on this, don't we get extra permanent grid like resistance chance? Rest assured, oh right, the tank flies now. Might as well put him here. Rest assured, your boy is extremely aware of the fact that he only managed to get Perfect Island on the last episode because of the mercy of the resistance abilities. We got that 15% chance to work for us exactly when we needed it. Attack order. So, I kind of want to flip you, but I don't think I can do so. It would be nice to push you. How much damage do you do? Three. And you attack first. So, a freeze on this building and a push down kills a lot of units here. And we could even do one extra damage to you this way, but I, I don't think we need to do it like this. Okay, hear me out. It would be this. This. And then block a spawn. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. We would love to have something for our uh, robot, our prime class mech to do when it's not doing... No! He doesn't attack in two directions, you fool! He's not a boss! We lost power for no reason. In the end, like, I don't want to act like it's not a big deal, but... We are gonna, you know... Gain that power back regardless, but I, I digress. That was terribly stupid on my part. I, I don't know why, I had a brain fart, thought he fired in two directions. Okay, just be smart. We still... Perfect Island is still in the cards, but we can't block any more spawns. Well, we can't block many more spawns. Tomo, you want to come back in, buddy? Hello. How you doing, buddy? You poop? Good poop? Okay. That was weird. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. You go here and use your fist to punch him. Ah, but then we have to deal with you somehow. I think you should, maybe you just flip him. And it'll also deal, ah, oh, but if you flip him, it won't deal any damage to this guy. Oh, we got quite the conundrum. You're also annoying. Hmm. So we do have a smoke bomb we can use that'll buy us some time. If we need to. You don't think we need to? No, he just wants a pet. This is a tough one, man. This is a tough turn. I see a couple of lines. One is, you move here, shoot, pushes this guy onto the ice. Don't, this is my streamer chair, buddy. You can't attack that. It's worth more than your life, sadly. Come on. Okay. Now, he's not worth more than his life to me. I mean, like, on a pure bottom line fiscal level. So I think we tank shoot this guy. He won't die on the ice. But he'll be super killable easily. Um, and this blocks a spawn. Now you would come up here and punch this lord so he flips directions and also do two damage so we can kill him next time. And then what would we do with our ice lord?
We could freeze this guy. Or we could... I think we should freeze that guy. 3 HP makes him a little more annoying. That being said, we probably do have a Scion spawning. But this guy's in a more annoying position. Can we still shoot from here? Yeah, absolutely. In that case, we should actually undo and move one closer, even though it's on ground anyway. Freeze him. Hopefully this will draw aggro from enemies. We've already lost one grid power here by being an idiot. Let's not, uh, let's not double down. So the more iced enemies we have, the more likely, uh, you know, they are to draw enemy fire, like right there. So that's essentially a free turn, although we'd still rather not uh, have to deal with it. So you can be killed. And you've got me webbed, which means that it's probably best if you're killed. You are a problem, though. I could just kill you in one hit, but what would this guy do? Yeah, we, we got issues. Like, do. It's not a bad turn, by the way, I want to make that clear. But we really want to get Perfect Island again. I, I believe that on most turns there's a, a way out. Surely, our tank moving and having these guys shoot each other is pretty close to optimum. What do you do with this guy, though? Force him to shoot in the other direction or force him onto ice? I guess either of those is fine. And what do you do with your artillery lord? Because you, you got no way out of here right now. Even if, if, if you push, push them one tile, you're going to die to spawn damage. So somebody else has to free you from your prison here. Then tank lord could pick up a kill, but it would also free this guy. So it might be better to just ice him. And then could tank guy, because he can fly, he can get up here and at least knock this guy out of the way. Preferably down one, but I'd settle for up one. Okay. So it would be like, freeze. He still got smoke for next turn, which is very important. Freeze, then you're free. Knock this guy out of the way. You punch this guy? I kind of like it. We can't take him one... No, we can't take him one higher, so... Yo, you idiot! Shot the building. The turn will not work. Or we could go for the resist again. <laughs> Maybe we're okay with freeing this guy. The other thing, the tank, uh, the artillery could drop smoke. But I kind of think, like, these guys shooting each other is the best option. Ah, okay. Freeze this guy. Punch this guy. You come over here. You can't shoot this guy out of the way, though. How do we deal with this lord? Everybody's a lord. Get used to it. I kind of hate it, but hear me out. Freeze. I really want to save smoke for next turn. Punch. You move down here and repair. Uh, it doesn't matter what punch. So... We're gonna have our hands full next turn. There's gonna be four enemies. Hopefully... Some of them are drawn out by the, the ice aggro. 
the more they attack me, the better. Okay, so... Really... If we can push this guy... And freeze the building, we're fine. Freezing blocks one attack, right? Yes, invincible. So my, my 5 million IQ play here... Because we also don't want to take any more damage. Is... We freeze... The building? Push this guy over so the Scion blocks his shot. And then this guy moves, and it doesn't really matter what he does. But we can at least get this kill. So do we even need to freeze the building is, I guess, part of the question here. Because you'll die with a push, at least. So that's a lot of experience. He had to move anyway. And the last thing we... I mean, we could smoke if we wanted to, but it doesn't matter. End turn. So we lost one grid power, and I'm not happy about it. We took a long time on this mission. Uh, but in the end, relatively okay. Because we're going to get a grid power... Oh, we're going to get a grid power back immediately. I hate this Tundra mission, but we really... I do want to see if this gives us permanent grid power. Or permanent grid resistance, I should say. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Now, I hate robot lords. They're the worst of all lords. We want you to be able to... Oh, if you could flip the robot lord, that would be ideal. Less than three grid damage. That's been relatively easy so far. Pop you down here. So flipping that guy wouldn't be so... Flipping you is the ideal situation, though. You hit two tiles, you'd kill, like, all of your buddies over here. So definitely, I think we start with a Spartan Shield to turn you around. How much damage do you do? 3-3-3? Three, three, three? Oh my god. Dead, dead. So the beetle doesn't even matter at this point. Disregard. Right. I'm stupid. Um, well, you're so lucky I can't get like the attack I wanted to get here. You would eat it so hard. It's still... Stop shooting your own robot. It looks like an easy mission. I'm just gonna level with you. Just make sure your robots don't die from blocking spawns. The fact that I push my robot back is bad enough. So three units are gonna spawn. It's okay. I'm ready for it. So far, so good. This could be a real quick one, depending on what spawns. No Scions, which I think is good. We probably should have frozen our... Uh, our tank, so that it didn't take extra damage. So, I think we... There's only two turns, so I think we just... Slay you. You're very lucky that I can't uh, knock you onto the ice. I think we just freeze you and punch... Punch you and flip you around. Well, I will. Well, I will. Oh, you're not, you're not hitting anything right now. So I actually just think we keep it as is. And probably repair... We're only going to have two units to deal with next turn. This is like a two-minute mission. And it's a Scion, so there's only one attack to deal with next time. So I think we'll, we'll again try for Pacifist. I don't know if we've killed more than three enemies, but... You know, there's an easy uh, victory there. Now, I really want to see if we get permanent grid defense.
We did. Oh, so good. Potentially. We should probably go for more corporate rep, but I'm just being real with you. I hate breaking five buildings out of the ice. It usually means that there's a, a lot of enemies that are going to be annoying. And if we go, if we play our cards right, we can get to this reactor core. So let's start with Venting Field. Starts with four enemies, which is bad, but... Hopefully some of these guys just step on freeze mines. We got another time pod, too. Okay, so you're definitely dead. Just step on an ice mine, please. I'm annoyed right off the bat because uh, I can't knock you guys onto mines in a good way. You would be good to freeze. Hear me out here. Don't kill the Scion. Use the punch. That's at least going to draw a lot of enemy aggro in the future. Unfortunately, it does mean... Our next move is like that. But maybe that's actually completely fine. We've got two enemies spawning. And we still got a Scion, but a... S oh, okay. Alrighty then. Uh, a Scion doesn't really seem to matter that much when no enemies uh, ever break out before they get bum-rushed. I think... Again, it kind of sounds ridiculous, but just freeze your tank. Next turn is just one Scion. Nothing's emerging. Okay. Dude, ice mechs are the OG best ever. End turn. Let the Scion live, dude. Again, this is our pacifist achievement. There we go. Life is great. It's almost too easy here. Protected the time pod as well. Open up this door. Get a reactor core. Gain shield? It is good, because it blocks the damage from the spawn, but... I don't know, I think tank getting plus one damage is actually extremely advisable. Protect the robotics lab and defend both robot factories. I'll give it a shot, okay? You have my word. My word, talking about my word, my word. Now the robot factories are annoying because they spit out things that want to kill us, but... This is for a reactor core and to continue our perfect island bonus, so... So who do we dislike? It would be real nice to push you. So I will, so I will. Probably a freeze? Here's how I see it. That's not gonna hit. Probably a freeze. A push. Could also... Nah, I would kill the robot factory. This guy's gotta go then. Hmm. We got, we got an issue, actually. We have to deal with these all of these units. So maybe a tank here is actually better. And then we just block spawn. Like, you gotta go. So something like this into a punch, which will just kill you. Tank here. Murder. Not dead, but 
Decent. And then you've got to be frozen right here. Yeah, I think this is our best turn. As much as I'd love to block the spawn. And we could afford to take grid damage, but... Why why bother? It still does a damage to the... To the building. Well, it's simple then. We just do it like this. It's way less cool. Or we just push you out of the way. Nah. It's not really that good. I'd rather do at least one damage. It's two damage because you upgraded your weapon, you idiot. There we go, it's way better. Much easier kill. End turn. Okay, four enemies, but one is a Scion. We don't have to kill the Scion. We don't even freeze the Scion. Just uh, leave him be. The robots are a problem, admittedly. Um, so... It wouldn't be bad to kill the Scion. Like, let me think about it. I come down here, boom, kill you. You're on 3 HP. I can't shoot that way, though, because you'll... Yeah, okay. All right, what a, what a conundrum. Classic little conundrum. The problem right now is, like, four buildings are being attacked. How much damage do you do? Two? We could tank a shot. Probably, well, it would be nice to tank it with our artillery, but then it doesn't have a shot at freezing anything except this guy, which might be okay. Then what do you, you do two, one, one. So you're definitely gonna hit, you have to die. The easiest way is via the tank, unfortunately. Or I could freeze you. But why freeze an enemy with one HP? What if I put tank down here? Block, it kills you. Blocks a spawn. But then we have, th we'd still have to tank a shot, unfortunately. That would be bad. Give me one moment here. Unexpected. 